You're watching the Glad Rap channel. We're in the beautiful Auckland City ABA Arena. And Eden Terrace. It's a nice sunny day. Uh, no, no rain, no cloud in the sky. How, how's it going? Yeah, it's going good. It's going really good. And, and this is for the Queensland um, boxing and also associated with New Zealand boxing. The Anzac Super Series 6 on Saturday, the 20th of October, 2018. I am your professional boxing judge, Benjamin Watt, and alongside me, we've got a boxing analyst, uh, Jerome. How's it going? It's, go it's going great. You know, this is this is my first show um, commentating, and I've, I've said it um, all this afternoon. I'm, I've been very impressed. On the cameras, we've got uh, Jerome's partner, partner, wife, 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 wife. We've got the wife, Kate, and I. I Try calling him my wife, and he just ended up sleeping me. It's uh, Jerome Pascua, uh, uh, not Jerome Pascua, sorry. It's uh, Kendall Cooper, also on the camera downstairs. We've got Connor Pete versus Caster Lamelli. Lamelli. I'm sorry if I mispronounce anyone's name. So, <laughs> so let's see. We've got these, some youth right here in the ring. Papatoi Toy Boxing. Yeah, Caster in the blue, Connor in the red. Papatoi Toy Boxing is, uh, again, uh, Grant's gym. He's uh, very good at uh, uh, some of the older good uh, boxers like Joseph Parker, Mossy Oyamatangi. They've all, both gone on to do great things. Of course, this is a, another exhibition bout, so there's no winners, there's no losers. They're both winners. Let's say that again. They're both winners, no losers. Yeah, Connor Pete's in the red. He's he's just trying to pick his shots. Oh, oh, there you go. We've got some heavy hitters from the blue corner, from Caster. But Connor's uh, coming back, laying some heavy shots. Good footwork there from Connor. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, nice jab. Follows him with the right hook. Connor's actually quite a heavy hitter as well. And that's something that uh, Caster needs to be careful with throughout this uh, bout. But what I do like about what, what Caster's doing is he's actually faking. Working that jab. Doing his feints. And just trying to set Connor off on the wrong foot and then attack with the with the one-two. That's actually a uh, pretty good way of actually saying it because when you fake the jab, they put their guard up, which prepares you to go for another jab when they put their guard down and look, look and they receive that, you know, second jab. Yeah, yeah. In of round one, just a, a, a feeling out process um, that these guys have gone through in the, in the first round. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more in the second round. Maybe um, more combinations, the one, two, one, two, three. Of course, this is uh, three tournament rounds, which means they, uh, I think they're youth, youth boxers. Another exhibition, this is our second exhibition for today. I think we've only got uh, two scheduled for today, so this is our second one. You can see in the blue corner, we've got Grant. Grant, the well-known uh, boxing coach. And of course, make sure you follow us on YouTube to see what else is coming up for Glad Rap and more shows that we do. And they're coming out more and they're both landing some punches. Kind of almost still feeling each other. Oh, there we go. Two, both of them landing good jabs. Yeah, Caster really just pushing out that jab, creating that distance. Oh, these these guys really do have heavy hits. Yeah, but great footwork, great movement. Connor's uh, throwing with intention. What really want to knock his opponent out? I'd say that. Uh, is that a stomp on the floor? Yeah, he's really trying to work those feints. Well, when you're stopping on the floor, it's kind of like creating this uh, false sense of oh, 
false, not false sense of security, but false sense of power. It's kind of like when people punch and they're screaming at the same time, it's putting you off. Well, that's what I think that he's trying to do. I'd say Connor's the more heavy hitter and Castle's the more technical puncher. Well, again, they're just filling each other out. Well, this is an exhibition, and exhibitions are generally treated as more of sparring than um, than an actual competition. They're not doing too much damage to each other. Apart yeah, from the, those those feints. But Connor's actually pinning him now. Gets the ropes and then Castor just yeah. turned around. I was just about to say those feints have really um, been putting uh, Connor Pete's off a little bit, but now he's he's working in his groove. I wonder how long they've actually been training for this. Maybe like. I guess like they're coming from the Nationals, so they didn't have too much time to pre prepare for this. Nice jab from Custer. Custer on the back foot there, just as the bell rings. Maybe he knew that it was just that time. Ten seconds to go. Time yep. to go back to his corner. Yeah, well, we've got the last round coming up, you know. Custer's really um, worked that jab nicely, but I haven't seen anything after the jab, so... So uh, I'm guessing um, that his that is coaching staff are really saying, hey, you're finding your distance, you're connecting with the jab, let's follow it up. Well, Connor is actually really just like landing those heavy hits. And Caster, you know, he might be landing, but there's nothing behind him. It's nice to see some Australians in the crowd today. They're also competing here, especially the same time we've got Tonga versus Australia uh, at Eden Park today. My Matonga. Round three for this exhibition bout. No losers. They're both winners, you could say. Again, Casta connecting with that jab. Still kind of almost feeling out, but Cast is actually more throwing with more intention than he usually did. But he's on the back foot, so even though there's an exhibition, if a judge saw this, he'd probably... Oh no, there you go, Cast is pinned him against the ropes and then... Yeah, back. I'd, ha I'd have to disagree with you on that one. Um, Cast is actually using his footwork really nicely, using the ring, jabbing, what? coming in and out, using his feints. Um, I would just like to see the, the two come over, or overhand just, right. He's being more of a defensive boxer. And he's not going out there to uh, knock out his opponent. He's going to outbox his opponent. I guess you're actually right there, because Caster's actually controlling this fight. As in not as in being the aggressor, but getting... The, uh, his opponent Connor to do what he want, wants Caster to want. Yeah, I really feel for Connor Pizza um, at the moment. He's those feints and that jab is it's really just put him off. And now he's coming in. There you go. Connor's actually now being more aggressive, but then being punched back by Caster. I get. There you go. There's the feints again. And Caster's coming forward. This seems to be his round. A little bit of, this, uh, I would say, the second round was kind of even, and Connor was winning the first round. Would you say that about that? Yeah, yeah, I would. And 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 like I said, his, you know, his coach would have really said, put something behind the jab. And he's actually doing that right now. And it's the end of round three. This is an exhibition bout, so no winners, no lo losers. Great fight, great experience for these two, and and um, yeah, Caster really showing his skills. Just before we hear the announcement, I just want to say, um, Glad Rap Channel is. A great channel for, for boxing and all. Oh, there we go. Both both winners.
Both winners, as the exhibition does. Glad Rad Travel is the bomb, you could practically say. We're doing a lot more than what other people are doing. We're actually going there, we're doing some backstage interviews, weigh-in interviews. Doing the fights, obviously, doing some commentary along here with myself, Jerome. So, yeah, thank Glad Rap for having us here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and really, really pushing um, boxing in New Zealand, especially at grassroots level. It's, um, it's what we need to keep, you know, boxing alive. 